Condition is it makes a lot of noise and we do have a code saying a bad relay, which is generally probably the bad mother's going out. Hey guys, thank you for checking out the channel today. You have reached Jamie Jones, the car man. We are going to be exploring, replacing a 2003 radiator fan out of a 2003 Chevrolet Impala. Very simple job. These very basic tools. All right, so we're going to start by taking these 13 millimeter bolt bolts out. There's uh, one, two, three, four, five. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. One in the front, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We're gonna pop those 12 out real quick. And you probably shouldn't try to lose it. How's everybody been? How we been, Jen? Social distancing. We did what? Social distancing. Got a grandbaby on the way any day. I would rate the level of difficulty of this job at about a four, maybe three. Yeah, so it's pretty simple. These guys just lift up. Here's how we do it. We're just going to pick it up, set them out of the way. All right, we're going to take the bars here, slide them to the side. And here we go. We're going to go ahead because we are messing with the radiator fan. Get you a number eight and go ahead and pull your battery cable off just to keep the old barbecue from happening. So we're gonna go ahead and take these number eights off right here. There's two of them. Access them, it's a lot easier just to take the air box off. So that's what we're gonna do real quick. So we're gonna go ahead and loosen up the uh if I can get my hands on it. I'm not sure they got a real good view of that. That's all right, they get the idea. So we got our tubing here, we're gonna take that loose. I thought I already got that off here. Point it out right there. Try to use the DJA pocket because it's a little easier to use for filming, all right? Yes. A lot more convenient than a tripod. Okay, so we're gonna take this tubing out. So let's take the temperature sensor out, which is just a tab out. This is your mass airflow. Good time to check all the stuff, make sure it's clean, by the way. It's just a nice little tab there. We don't wanna break it, just wanna get it up. And there she goes. And then we have the breather tube right here. Let's go ahead and move that. Should be able to just slide it off with just a little bit of luck. And there she goes. Now, okay, this is just coming out as one piece, all right. So we're gonna take the black box, we'll just set it to the side. Okay, we're gonna take these hose clamp pliers. Can you, oh, look at me messing up. By the way, don't cuss me because I have these because these are awesome. You guys need these. If you ever do these compression, actually anybody that's ever had a car has had to deal with these. And man, that stuff is impossible. Like these, these little compression rings are impossible with a pair of pliers and the weird angles they get in. Hopefully we don't have a, uh, shouldn't be anything in here. It is hopefully not a whole lot. Okay. All right, guys, so you're going to have the wiring harness kind of connected here. It's not kind of, it's definitely connected to the, the fan housing. And then if you back up to right here, show them right here, we're going to have where the two fans connect. Just got a tab. You just slide it off, and then there's one. I, I don't want to block the camera, but maybe you have to. You're going to have to a little bit. Uh, you probably can't it's see that. It's really kind of in the way. But, 
that's it that's all there is and you've got a couple little clips can you can you see that or I might have to show them when we get it out you could see it but then when you start doing it you actually Can you point that out again with the light, Jane? Yeah. Show where you got that at. Um. Maybe able to get a little bit better. Okay, so right here, what we got going on here is you see a little, a little mounting thing for a 10 millimeter, and this just kind of sits in like this, one on each side. So there's actually four screws that mount this. I've actually seen it with one in the center, but an 03 doesn't for some reason. Maybe it's been replaced before, who knows. But that's the uh, story. So there's one here and there's one in the center, it's on each side. So let's see if I can get this last one out real quick. Sometimes they've got a little, yeah, it's got a stopper on the bottom more than likely. All right there. You see that little black tab? That's dead center of the driver's side fan. All it is is just a plastic tip. Take the bottom balance off and slide it out. That's the only thing that holds it in. This out. guys pay, pay attention to this right here this is on the very bottom of the car this is on the very bottom of the car and this is what's actually hidden in there you have this piece of plastic and a slide out that's what's hiding in it. it's hiding underneath this balance so just take the balance off then look along the edge this is the dead center of the driver's side fan and that's what's on the bottom of it hooking it up so you have four bolts one two and then the two hangers at the top that's it and then the two slides on the fans that's a wrap other than that you just put it back together the way you take it up right yep hopefully this is very <laughs> simple but if you do get jammed up just hit rewind or you can just call me i don't care i'll help a brother out if you need some help on that yep rain sleet snow or all shine all right anything else that's it all right guys we'd like to invite you to subscribe and uh We'll see you on the next one. I think we're going to do an IAC next, right? I think so. All right, cut.